Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's your man James, aka JP, back again with another jersey restoration video. I think I've done maybe about two or three of these. Uh, the ones that I've done, I've used uh, Sharpies in, uh, for newer jerseys with that raised lettering. I don't know if you guys have ever seen newer jerseys, but for the newer ones that have like the stitched in letters, those all you really have to do is just take a Sharpie and fill in whatever color you need. Now, at the thrift stores recently, I've been finding a bunch of good vintage 90s champion jerseys. And with those jerseys, all of the, the text and the letterings and everything are screen printed on. What that means, it's like, um, it's kind of like painted on or like, uh, like a sticker type of thing. Like it's not stitched in, it's not raised. It's like part of the actual shirt, so it's screen printed on. Um, so today I found this very sick Indiana Pacers right here, vintage 90s Reggie Miller jersey. And, uh, you know, the jersey overall is in good condition, it's clean and everything like that, but it's cracking, as you guys can see right here, you know, and it, that's just common with all these 90s champion jerseys is that they're cracked. Um, so you can see, not as bad on the front, but you do have right there, and I really don't know if you guys can uh, make this out or not, or what's showing on camera, but here is a quick look, and I'll be sure to do a, a close-up here in a second uh, to show it off for you guys. Uh, but so I'm gonna try a new technique uh, because this one is so messed up um, I'm actually gonna try something different and if it works great if not The jersey was kind of already messed up. So it's not that big of a loss I picked this up for three dollars at the thrift store today, but I'm gonna try and paint it uh, So this should be interesting. I'm not the craftiest of uh, people but We're gonna see how it comes out and if it does come out good I got this Orlando Magic Shack jersey that I also got from the thrift store, which is in immaculate condition. The front is clean, no cracking. The back, just right here on the first couple letters, is cracked. Um, so I'm going to test out this Pacers jersey, see how that goes. And if it does come out clean, I'm going to do it on the Magic jersey. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is tape off with uh, like some masking tape or painter's tape or whatever. Tape around the areas I'm going to paint. Uh, so I don't get any paint on the actual jersey that I don't want paint on, you know, the areas of the jersey. I don't have the rest of the supplies with me once I'm going to go to the store once I'm done taping this up and get the paint and the paint brushes and everything I need. Uh, once I get that, I'll obviously show you guys and then show you guys the painting process. So uh, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, and here's just a quick close-up of the jersey itself. So you can see all the areas that are cracked right there. So this is, uh, is going to be interesting to see how this comes out, that's for sure, because I'm... I'm not very artsy or very crafty, but I think I can do it. Uh, so we'll see. So that's the front. I'm doing this with one hand. So give me a second. There we go. So there is the back. Right there. So you can see the back's pretty bad. If it was just the front, I'd probably leave it. But the back's pretty bad, not going to lie. So we'll see what happens with this. So let's go ahead and start taping this off. All right, so I'm like 20 minutes into this taping process and it's very tedious. I just, I personally don't have the patience to do all this and I'm not the best at it. And it's very hard just because it's fabric uh, to get the tape to stay in like one solid location. So I'm actually gonna take the tape off and I'm going to freehand it. I don't recommend doing this unless you want to be at risk of uh, maybe getting it on to the areas you don't want. I have a pretty steady hand, so I'm not worried about like it leaking onto other sections. But just to let you guys know, I do recommend taping around the areas that you do not want paint on. I just don't have the patience for it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and remove this tape and then we'll get started with this painting process. All right, you guys, so I got all my supplies. Uh, my AC is on, so if you hear like that AC noise in the background, that's what it is. Uh, so here's everything. I picked everything up at Walmart, really cheap stuff. This was uh, 50 cents for this paint right here. And this is uh, Apple Barrel yellow paint, uh, just some regular acrylic paint. I know the first comments are gonna be why didn't I use Angelus? Uh, honestly, I just went to Walmart and grabbed the first thing I can find. Uh, I also just grabbed a standard uh, white paint, if we can focus in, there it is. So we got white, and then I just got a standard set of uh, some brushes right here. Comes with a bunch of different variations of sizes, all the way down to the very precise and thin one that's so small the camera's not gonna focus. Uh, to get those tight corners, uh, I'm using this to put the paint on. I have water in here and paper towels and i'm doing this on my countertop in the kitchen it's always good to do this on a nice flat surface a sturdy surface 
got a dirty towel here and I put a piece of cardboard uh, behind the jersey so the paint doesn't bleed through to the other side which I just used from a pizza box and uh, that's pretty much it uh, whatever you guys do don't try these ever this is the worst like combination it's sour and then it gets spicy I don't know why I even bought them it said new so I bought them but horrible um, so I already tried this out, I don't know if you guys can see any difference from when I showed you the jersey just a few minutes ago. Uh, I put two coats on it already just to see if this video is even worth making. And it honestly is making a difference, but the parts where I have to paint over the blue, I'm definitely going to need quite a few coats to cover that up. Uh, but the yellow matches up perfectly. Uh, so I'll just show you guys a little bit of the painting and then I'll show you the end result. Here is a quick look after putting another like one or two coats uh, on the number 31. So I don't know if on camera it's really doing a justice of uh, what it's doing, but it definitely is uh, looking better. But because it's such a dark color, um, it's going to take multiple coats to eventually cover this up. So I'm going to continue working on this. And then once it is done, I'll show you guys a finished product because otherwise this will be a really long video. Uh, so without further ado here is the jersey in all its glory all right you guys so here is the finished product and man this came out a million times better than i ever thought it was going to uh, i'll show you guys a close up right here without tripping over this wire that's in front of me but look at this obviously you know there's still some cracking and some parts i really i just wanted to get it to where it was wearable and for me this is wearable this took a while this took a few hours within you know spread over a couple days just because i would let it dry overnight or whatever uh but i don't know if you guys remember before this eye was non-existent this whole area right here so the parts you can obviously see the material difference from where the actual letter was missing and i painted over the jersey but compared to how this was in the beginning of the video this is a much bigger improvement i mean all of this was bl uh, blue or whatever so this looks much better like i said if i wanted to take a lot more time and be precise and detailed i could have got every little nook and cranny but to me this is perfectly fine this is wearable to me uh, you know from a distance you know you can't even tell and if somebody's gonna get up close in your jersey and like inspect every corner uh i don't know why anyone would do that but and then here we are with the back and if you guys remember the back was a lot worse than the front was and for some reason my camera doesn't want to focus there we are uh, obviously you know i still got some parts here these parts were heavily uh you know chipped and, and peeling and cracked and everything uh so you know eventually i could probably go up and touch them but again this is this is still good right here Th this will get the job done and like i said let me uh, move back here from a distance you know it's really not that bad 
Uh, so this is definitely wearable to me. Uh, I am definitely going to wear this. I'll probably touch up the back, maybe one more coat of paint or something eventually. But for now, like I said, this is good enough for me. Uh, so that's pretty much it. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, sorry that I couldn't uh, show you the entire painting process. Like I said, it took a long time and it would have been a super long video. So I just showed you guys a little snippet of uh, the beginning of it. Uh, I do have to iron the jersey though because now it's all wrinkled from uh, when I was painting and everything. But there it is. So like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more. Share this video with your friends. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.